I want to talk to you about fear, particularly fear of making phone calls to people you don't know. And I want to give you some thoughts and some things to do so you can get over the fear. Now, I know that it's easy to say it's no big deal. You know, you're just making a phone call. What's the worst thing that could happen? They'll hang up on you and you just call the next person. That's what I would like to say and this video would be over. But I know because I've been coaching real estate agents for 16 years now. And before that, I was in real estate for many years. And I've had that same fear. And I know from my clients, this is a real thing. And there are times when you literally look at the phone and you are frozen. So here are some things that I want you to think about. And if you have a pen and paper, I highly recommend that you write these things down because while you're listening to me say it, it may sound good. It may sound like it makes sense to you and, and it's great, but then you forget because that's, if you're anything like me, I'm a slow learner. I need to hear the same thing a million times before it kind of like hits my brain and I get it. So write it down and then read it often every time you have fear. First, I want to say the fear of prospecting, cold calling, talking to people you don't know. It's a psychological fear. It's not the fear of like physical fear that you're not being chased by a wild animal. Let's put it that way, where your life is being threatened. Your life is not being threatened when you make a phone call to an expired listing or a for sale by owner. They may be abrupt, hostile, rude, mean, whatever. They may hang up on you. They may say some really nasty things, but your life is not being threatened. It's just a phone call. So I want you to remind yourself of that. First and foremost, this is a psychological fear. What I said earlier, and it may seem simplistic, but the reality is what's the worst that could happen? Okay, they tell you to go, you know where, and then they hang up on you. Okay, they hang up. I'm still here. Is, is the response of this stranger, because you're calling somebody you don't know, you don't know them, they don't know you, so it's a total stranger. Is this something that is going to uh, take away from my self-esteem? from how I feel about myself and my abilities. It might because, you know, we, stand, we tend to make stories up about, well, you know, they hung up because, you know, I don't know what I'm saying. These are, these, this is just the conversation in our minds, which human beings have all the time. We're continuously talking to ourselves. Actually, think about this. If you see somebody in the street talking walking around the street, right, talking to themselves out loud, you would say, wow, they belong in a mental hospital. We do that all the time. We just don't do it out loud. We do it in our heads. So this conversation, negative conversation, I could do a, I could do a, a hundred million videos on mindset, controlling what's going on in your head. But for the purposes of what we're talking about here and this fear of rejection, which seems to be the biggest fear real estate agents have, feel rejected. I want you to think logically. Write this down. This is a stranger. I don't know them. They don't know me. I will never speak with them again unless I choose to call them back, which I could choose to do it or not do it. So either way, am I going to let the response of this complete stranger that I'll never speak with again affect what I do moving forward to create success in my life and my business. That seems like when you write it down that way and when you think about it and read it to yourself, an illogical thing to do. 
I'm saying this to you so you could reason with yourself. I'm sure you don't like to live in fear. Nobody does. Fear is a negative emotion. It doesn't produce any kind of positive results. So I'm going to give you the recipe to getting over this fear. Do what you fear and do it a lot because, and I say this not only from personal experience, but a lot of my clients, oh, I'm afraid to make these calls. And then they make them. They make 10 or 20, and the next day they make 20 or 20. And then they come back to me and say, wow, it wasn't that bad. No, I can promise you it's not going to be nearly as bad as you make it out to be in your mind. Some of them are going to be easier. You know, people will be nicer. Some people will not be so nice. Okay. But in your mind, it's like this huge, horrible thing that's going to just be, 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 be total destruction. No, it's not. It is going to be easier than you expect. And when you use an effective script, namely my script, Sales X Training Scripts, if you even just read it to them, you don't need to even have it memorized, internalized, nothing. You just pick an effective script to read it to people. You're going to set some appointments. I promise you, you will. So then, because you're going to realize it's not that bad, you're going to say, okay, well, you know, I can do this. There is no better way to overcome fear than doing what you fear and do it a lot. That's actually a famous quote. I can't think of uh, whose quote it is now, but it is. Uh, I'm a motivational quote junkie, so I always remember the quotes. I don't always remember who said it, but you could Google it if you choose to. So here's the other thing I want you to think about. The most important four-letter word in prospecting is next. So in overcoming this fear of prospecting, I want you to remember that in order for you to get a yes, get an appointment with somebody, inevitably, you're going to talk to a lot of people that will say, no, it is not possible for it to be any other way. Now, with time, and practice time on task. The more you do it, the more experience you get, the better you get at the scripts. You're going to get fewer no's for every, every yes. But I don't know anyone, not even the best of the best of the best of the best real estate agents and prospectors on the planet that get a yes from everybody that they talk to. It's impossible. So you are going to I apologize for screaming. I get excited at times. You're going to get no's. So a great way to help you not make up a negative story about these no's is expect some of them. I, I always say to my clients, and I'm saying to you, you should expect to set an appointment with everybody that you talk to. Period. End of story. You should never expect to get a no. So this is like an oxymoron. Now I'm telling you, you gotta expect some no's. I just, you, okay, so, so hang on, okay, hang on. Let me explain this. Expect a yes from everybody that you talk to, but don't get discouraged when you hear a no, because a no is just part of the process. You still have to have the assume and have the anticipation of getting a yes because whatever you you're looking for and focusing on that's what you're gonna get so you don't want to make calls thinking oh everybody's gonna say no no everybody's gonna say yes but if and when i get a no it's no big deal i'm just one step closer to the yes in fact you should write this down every no gets you closer to a yes. So I expect a yes from every call, but I know that it's gonna take, I know 
N O N K N O W, I know that I'm gonna get some no's in order to get the yes, because that's just the way as any kind of sales job goes. I asked you to write down a lot of things. I want you to review them every day before you get on the phone. And the final thought I want to give you is, I know that the hardest call for you to make is the very first one. So do not allow yourself to overthink it. Just pick up that phone, dial, and go. The first one. Because the second one and the third and the fourth is easier. The first one is the hardest one for you to, for you to make. So don't think about it. Okay. I, I remember when I was selling real estate, I used to tell myself stories about my leads. Like when, when I got a lead and I had to call people back, especially in my first couple of years, they would say to me, call me in a month. And I knew that I had to call them sooner than a month. So a week later, you know, I have it in front of me and I read my own notes, call in a month, but it's only been a week. Well, what are they going to say? They're going to, they're going to remember who I am and they're going to say, didn't I tell you to call me in a month? Why are you calling me in a week? So then I would say, you know what? I'm not going to call today. It's too, or too soon. And I, with this, with the lead follow-up, which this is not how I recommend you do it, okay? I'm just telling you my, some of my experiences with fear. I'd be afraid that they would get mad, they'd get upset, they'll scream, they'll hang up on me. So, and I was, I'd be afraid of actually just upsetting them and then they wouldn't want to give me the appointment. So I would talk myself out of making these calls for fear of how they would respond. And then I realized I actually started losing a lot of leads. I would wait the month, right? And then I call a month later and they're like, oh, I already listed with an agent. I'm like, what do you mean? You told me you weren't going to do anything for a month. Well, my bad. You know, I talked myself out of calling. I knew better, but I didn't do it. And then I made a decision, well, I don't want this to continue because I'm losing the opportunity to set an appointment. So I got to just call. So I would, I had very brief notes, like a little outlines of things they said. So at least I knew who I was talking to. So I made a decision that I was going to look at my notes and dial. It's like, I w I'm not going to give myself, I'm not going to give my mind enough time to talk myself out of doing what I'm supposed to do. And that's what I want you to do. The very first call, I want you to just go. Don't overthink it. Don't allow the fear because fear is interesting. The more you think about it, the bigger it gets in your mind because the mind works that way. He's like, oh, I'm afraid of this. And then you think of all the, re start thinking of like these, this long list of reasons why you should fear. So if you allow yourself to stay in that mental negative space, it just gets, you start digging the hole deeper and deeper and deeper. So just don't give yourself the ability to do that. I trust this video has helped you. Let me know what other videos you're interested in seeing. Put it on the comments, subscribe to the channel, and thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon.